Hello everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the reaction to that abysmal Monday night football game. This is definitely what the Eagles heard a lot of, those boos last night from whatever Eagles fans did travel down to Dallas, and our fans travel very well, so I'm sure there was a good handful of them down there. And they heard the boos from them. Because that was definitely not the performance. One iota you want to see from our Eagles on Monday Night Football. Just a team we expected to be peachy keen. Everything gumdrops and everything great this year. No. Obviously not. There's a team with a young coach and a young rookie quarterback. And that's why also I'm going to say this right now at the beginning of the video. Coming into the season I told myself I'm going to give it six weeks to judge everything and see what's going when it comes to the coaching staff, when it comes to Hurts, because I really like Hurts as a talent-wise. He just had his worst overall game by far, and he said it was on him. I'm going to pull up the quote in a second, but he, he owned it up to it, and that's what I really like about Hurts, too, his character trait, plus his on-the-field talent. But he definitely did suck. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. He sucked yesterday. But that happens. It's the NFL. It's the NF freaking L. It's the best talent of people. I want to see how he bounces back. Now, we're playing the Chiefs next week, so that's going to be a tough opponent to bounce back against but like I said we're only three weeks into this thing I want to judge him after six weeks so we still got three more weeks to go until I really want to make a huge judgment on things and the Eagles have um some tough opponents they played the 49ers and then they played the Chiefs again next week and then obviously Dallas has a high-powered offense and they were not able to keep up with that offense getting the 21 points themselves but not playing the defensive um prowl is a game that they played against the 49ers even though they did of course, from Hargrave and Cox, guys you would expect to do well have some good defensive plays. But those are the only people I would really point out hugely where Steven Nelson struggled mightily. Anytime you saw him thrown to his side, okay, they would get open. And then Marcus Epps is just a, um, unfortunately, he had to come in because Wallace, who's now out for a few weeks, um, unfortunately, he had to come in for that. And he's just a special team guy. He ain't anything else. You saw it. Whenever a guy makes a catch, he can put a hit on afterwards. But that's because that's what he's supposed to do. That's why he's on the special team. Just in case some idiot decides not to fair catch it. And then he gets rocked. And Marcus F causes a fumble in that. But that's why he's not on coverage. He doesn't really cover. He has to stay back. And he has to play overly conservative. He's not good on coverage. So obviously you don't want to have to keep using him in that route. But we might have to keep using him in that route. Because Kayvon Wallace who obviously is not proven yet, but I would rather have him in the guarding perspective than Marcus Epps, who has shown at this point that all he is is literally just that special teams guy. That's why uh, that could lead to a bigger effect for you. Also, obviously our offensive line due to injuries um, did not play well at all. They really mightily struggled. Now we have Isaac Salamalu injured as well. We have, of course, have Brooks out for weeks as well. So now you have big injuries there. Suyamalo's out for the year. Brooks is still out for weeks. Vallada has the knee bugaboo. So we're having an issue with our offensive line. Andre Dillard played all right yesterday. Um, I saw John Clark said he played well. I would say he played solid. He played all right. Dickerson definitely a struggle, but he's a rookie. He's a guy that I don't think expected to be thrown into the um, fold this quickly. And yet, but it happens, and he has to know it, and he has to step up, and he knows that. And I think uh, he has the skill. We drafted a guy that was really graded highly from everything I read um, after the draft as an offensive lineman. I obviously ain't going to judge a guy after one game, especially um, coming into playing a team like Dallas that does still have Micah Parsons who can move all around the line, and they were taking advantage of Dickerson's inexperience yesterday. So I want to see how he adjusts and comes back from that. But again, this was an absolutely putrid performance. We got spanked. There's no other way to put it. We got spanked on Monday Night Football, and there really is no way to sugarcoat that. I'm trying to pull up the exact quotes that Jalen Hurts had right now. He said, I didn't execute. I have to do my job better. I will learn from this. And that's what we're seeing as time goes on. That's why I love this dude, Jalen Hurts, because I love how he, other than yesterday, up to then, he controlled the turnovers well. And the weird thing about yesterday was that caught me off guard so much as, well, one, we played out of the shotgun a lot, which I think was just because of the O-line injuries, but also sometimes made Hurts think he could hold the ball a little bit longer than he should and not made his decisions as witty and quick. When we played out, we saw the first week against the Falcons and even some in the second week against the 49ers. 
out of the um just out of the regular formation, and then we would just back, drop back and throw quick passes. I think that might have worked a little bit better, but we didn't do that, and that's what happened. We played out of the shotgun. I don't think it would have changed much because we played a putrid game anyway, and that was Hertz's first big struggle bunny game. But now it's about how he bounces back from it and what he does. And I think he's going to have a good success rate from bouncing back from it because he has a very good mind, he has a very good head, and he has very good characteristics on and off the field, owning up to it right away. And he knew that game was on him. And I don't think he's going to make those same mistakes over again. I think he's someone that's going to correct and grow. From the things I hear Jalen Hurts say, he seems like a very coachable person, unlike somebody that we used to have around here. But... The last thing I have in this video to wrap up the last final minute or two of this video is the other quote that Jalen Hurts said, which is exactly what you have to do with these games. You obviously want to take the film from it and learn and grow from the game, but what you got to do mentally so it doesn't just sidetrack you and bring you down and hurt you in terms of rebounding and getting better and building from it is... You take you take you a deuce. You don't sit there and look at it. You flush it and move on. So obviously that's a funny, weird way um, to put that. You just got to move the hell on and say this is a game we absolutely sucked. For Hertz, it's a game that he played his worst game. For Nelson, it's a game he played probably one of his worst games because he was not covering anybody out there. People were running rough shot on him. And for the Eagles secondary in general, it wasn't the prettiest overall game. You got some good plays by Hargrave and some good plays by Cox up there. I saw Josh Sweat kind of get in there in a couple plays, but these are all people on the line that you would actually expect to do well. The guys that you expect to actually have some performance in the secondary, yeah, it wasn't too good yesterday, but stopping the run game also on the line, I must say, was also not good yesterday. They had some nice plays, Hargrave, Cox-wise, Sweat-wise, getting in on the pass rush, but when it came to stopping the run, you let Ezekiel Elliott have a good game. Tony Pollard had a couple good rushes as well. So the Eagles have to improve stopping the run big time when it comes into the future. Obviously, playing Kansas City is going to be tough. I don't expect us to beat Kansas City. But you want to improve even going into next week. You've got to defend the run better is my three wrap-up points. You have to see how Jalen Hurts bounces back from this week. And the other that's a double combo is for offense and defense. You want to see how the offensive line, especially through injuries, does Dillard have another solid week and build on that, and does Dickerson bounce back? Since he's going to be in because CMO, unfortunately, is out for the season. And the other part of that point is the defense. You need the secondary to step back big time. You need them to have a much bigger game, especially Steven Nelson. So our Eagles, you need to come back stronger. Hopefully, now the Chiefs are going to be a very hard team. Now, that'll be a great sign if we play a close game against the Chiefs after getting railed by the freaking Cowboys. It's not fun to get destroyed by the damn Cowboys, but we did. We got to rebound from it. We got to learn and grow, and we got to go into next week. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can use the widget up there, and you can subscribe down below, whatever you prefer. We really appreciate your support. Let's fly, Eagles, fly, go Eagles. Like I said, I'm trying not to judge big until after at least six weeks into the season. So I'm still believing, especially with the NFC least, the Cowboys look right now. I hate to say it like they're the best team in the division, but who the hell cares because it's three weeks into the season, and we've seen them fall with the black cat that follows that organization around all the time. So let's see if that happens again. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out.